Okay, so here's what we gotta do. Ray needs to make Phil his apprentice because if Ray, if ever something happens to Ray, we have Phil to be the next god because this kid is literally a freaking genius. Like he's he's a lord right now, but he will soon end up being the, um, promoted to the status of God if something were ever to happen to Ray. honestly. Phil was the one who cracked the code. Phil? It wasn't Emma? I was really surprised because I was just like Norman, I was just like, wow, Emma actually discovered this. I would expect this from Ray, but Emma? That's impressive. She's just so like, oh no, Phil actually pointed it out. I was just like, now, we know that Phil is special. I mean, Ray pointed it out. If Ray points it out, then you know something is up. So Ray pointed this out a couple of chapters back uh, about how really intelligent Phil is. And now we're seeing it again. Like, yo, know, Phil, this kid is a young lord and will soon become a god. Okay, the real thing that boggled my mind when it came to this chapter was the escape. Don and Gilda's escape. I was just scratching my head at that whole thing because here's how it went down. So we know Isabella went downstairs, Don and Gilda, they were hiding and stuff, and then they were all like, okay, we're just trying to make a smooth, quick, and easy escape. That's all they gotta do. And for the diagram, it looked like that Isabella went into like her, her study room or you know, the communication room where she contacts the demons and stuff. That's how it looked like from the diagram. Then the next thing we see is that this kid named Eugene picks up this key, Mama's master key, and hands it to her. And we see Don and Gilda are the ones that left the key there for Eugene to hand to Isabella, and that doesn't make any sense. You see, if, let, here are some things that really got me confused, because let's say that Don and Gilda did this, you know, before they went downstairs, okay? I know that that's not possible, but still. Let's say that Don and Gilda left the key out there for Eugene to find to give to Isabella before they went into the room. That would make sense for why Mama went downstairs to the hidden room because she realized her key was missing, which I'm surprised that she didn't find out herself. I mean, did I overestimate Mama? Because everything that I mentioned last week about her for sure being able to catch them, or for sure that she knew that they were down there, for sure that she knew that her key was missing, did I overestimate her? There's no way. There's no way. What happened to Mama? Did she have a brain fart in this chapter? That was just weird. Very strange. Now, the other thing, Don and Gilda, of course, we know they needed that key to get downstairs, and we saw that. So, they took the key to, you know, open the door, the, find, find the hidden door, and then open the actual door to get into the secret room. But here's the thing, Mama then goes downstairs and then somehow Don and Gilda escape and when they escape they left the key there for Eugene to find so that Eugene can give it to Isabella and by then Isabella already left her room. Did she not find anything suspicious that the door was already open when she went downstairs? Because I explained last week that the main reason why Don and Gilda would get caught is because of the door. The door is unlocked because not only did they have to move the bookcase, like when they move the bookcase, then unlock the door, they're inside the room. And they can lock the door, but they can't push back the bookcase, otherwise they're trapped in the room, right? So the bookcase was obviously moved and the door, whether being unlocked or not, mom would have still been suspicious because the, book, the bookcase was moved. So what, what, how, this doesn't make any sense. There was some sort of brain fart going over here because this whole escape thing did not make sense whatsoever. Don and Gilda should have been caught. What in the absolute fuck? Okay, um, after all that, um, uh, I'm just gonna move on. Don was very upset at Emma, Norman, and Ray after they confessed 
everything to them because Don, he realized that rather quickly that they were being lied to and after he found out the truth, he now feels useless and he just wants to be treated like family because that's what they are. This is all they have and that makes a lot of sense. I understand Don. Like, Emma, we all know what she was trying to do. And Gilda, she sees that as well. She understands. But the fact that Don and Gilda are family. And they and the other siblings are all they have. They don't know what's in the outside world. They don't know. So no matter what happens, they have to stick together. And to do that, they need trust. And now that trust has been slightly broken. So Emma's gonna go apologize to them. And during that whole fiasco, Chrome just so happened to be watching. She watched that whole confession, that whole scenario there, and it's just like, oh God. Well, now Chrome knows everything. She knows who's involved. She knows what they're gonna do. She knows about the escape. She knows everything. Fuck. So what's Chrome gonna do next? Is she going to mention this to the demons first? Or is she going to talk to the kids first? I don't really know, but they are in some major deep shit. And I really hope that there's another brain fart around this because things need to be explained. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this chapter. If you're also confused about that whole escape thing, if you're able to make sense out of that, let me know your thoughts on Phil, the young lord, soon to be God, and the whole crone situation. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.